FBI officials say they are working to stop potential violent protest within the next week following the riot and insurrection at the Capitol. Investigative reporter Evan Watson talked to officials who say there's a growing concern of threats at state capitals and at the inauguration. The FBI Norfolk field office says it is identifying, investigating and disrupting people who could incite more violence leading up to the inauguration. Five people died and dozens were hurt in last week's storming of the Capitol. Each day, more people of the pro-Trump mob are arrested. The Virginia National Guard will protect the Capitol through Joe Biden's inauguration. But now FBI field offices and investigators turn their attention to future threats. It's really unprecedented, and while there may be a lot of boilerplate investigative steps and techniques being used, um, I think there's a greater heightened sense of awareness and concern. Former FBI Special Agent Supervisor Steve Foster says investigators are finding leaders and groups who could be threats and then sending that information to a task force in D.C. The FBI is looking for threat intelligence long before Inauguration Day um, for people who are potentially getting ready, maybe hoarding weapons, potentially planning to incite some kind of violence on the day of the inauguration. If they can determine that ahead of time, they'll arrest them before they even get to Washington. An FBI Norfolk spokesperson says the agency is focusing on people who threaten their safety and the safety of other citizens with violence and destruction of property. The U.S. Capitol and Virginia State Capitol are currently fenced off for security. Foster says each day is critical to prepare for and prevent future violence. We're always learning, and if we don't learn, uh, you know, shame on us. I think we're learning every day from some of these this threat intelligence. Evan Watson reporting for 13 News Now. Here's how Washington, D.C. is stepping up security ahead of Inauguration Day. 2,000 National Guard troops will be on duty, and that includes 200 from Virginia and 350 from North Carolina. Several streets near the Capitol and White House are already closed. Airbnb has also canceled all reservations in D.C. next week. Finally, other landmarks like the Washington Monument have suspended tours until January 24th due to threats. And the city of Richmond is also making preparations. Barriers are already up in Capitol Square. Today, the area shut down ahead of the anticipated Lobby Day protests on Monday. Mayor LeVar Stoney reassured residents, saying the city started preparing for this long before the riots in D.C. I don't care who you are. We will protect this city, this capital, this commonwealth, and the lives and property of all the law-abiding people who live here. City leaders are also reminding demonstrators that guns are not allowed at or around permitted events.